Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to Curtis Corner. If you're new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. And on today's Film Friday, we are going to be discussing my thoughts and opinions on DC's League of Super Pets. So if you're interested in seeing any and all of my thoughts, my opinions, letting me know if you agree with them or whatnot, then stay tuned and keep on watching. So like I said, we're talking about DC's League of Super Pets. It's an animated family movie and it's set in the world of every DC character. So you got your Batman, your Superman, Wonder Woman, Green Lantern, Flash, Aquaman, Cyborg, and essentially all of their pets. The premise of this film is Superman has a dog named Crypto who has virtually the same powers as him and Crypto feeling like he's losing Superman because Superman and Lois are getting close and Superman is trying to introduce Crypto to new pets to get him some friends and events play out there ends up being an evil pet that the good pets have to stop and that's essentially the storyline of this film as simply put what I came out of this surprised about is actually how much heart is in this film. I knew it was going to have, you know, some happier themes and some funny moments, interesting, you know, things that you can kind of relate to yourself and others and take home and reflect upon. But I didn't expect it to be so like in depth as it was. So that was very surprising and very heartwarming. And animation beyond wonderful. I absolutely love the animation style that they use for this. It's very like illumination esque but it's still really 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 good um i would even say like slightly better than illumination keanu reeves as batman is really funny john krasinski as superman also really really well done character that he was portraying and dwayne johnson as crypto and kevin hart as ace which is like the boxer that basically has batman's ears those two, whenever they're in the room together, obviously, clearly, while they're given a script, they play off of each other. And it's just a very well-established environment that they're creating, both within and outside of the world. They just feed off of each other, and that's where the humorous banter really comes into play. And you wouldn't, it wouldn't be as funny as it is if they didn't have that connection already with each other. I find all the pets really work well together. I like the different power sets that each of them have, and I like how they're learning how to use their powers without fully understanding. Obviously, some powers were easier to understand, like Ace learns his very quickly because it's it just comes naturally, um, but the others, they kind of have to figure it out as they go along with the help of Crypto, kind of coaching and guiding them how to do things. And then you also have Kate McKinnon, who is basically the villain of this entire film. She is a guinea pig named Lulu. Wonderful. And that's not a spoiler because they literally introduce you to Lulu within the first like 15 minutes of the film. So I think there's definitely going to be moments where if kids are going to see this and they're very emotional, they're going to cry during it. And it's very heartfelt. You're going to get a lot of information to kind of take home with you and kind of reflect upon and possibly want to adapt the lessons that are in the movie into your own life in order to make a better change for not only you, but for everyone else around you. Making sure that you're, especially if you have pets, you're going to have a deeper connection um, within this film because it's definitely the relationships between not only friends, and pets with pets, but pet to owner relationship as well. And it really just like heightens it and elevates it to a whole other level that you never really thought about before. And I think it was wonderfully done. I think some of the other characters within this could have had a bit more screen time, in my opinion. I think they could have done a little better on elaborating the, uh, like more of the human characters. They mainly focused on Superman and Batman in the film. Um, 
obviously all the pets being the main focus and then the side focus was mainly Superman and Batman and then the other Justice League members after them. I think they could have had a little bit more of an importance. They got some importance near the end of the film, but I find not enough to really want to connect. The only real connection that you got of these characters were through what the pets thought of them. And that was really essentially it. Otherwise, that's pretty much my only critique on the film. I think the action sequences are good. The animation, like I said, is very good. The dialogue and script storyline, really well done. The undertones when it needed to be serious it was serious and when it needed to be emotional or super funny it was at those times nothing overcrowded each other everyone had their own place where they needed to be at the right times no one overshadowed anybody no one got kind of like left really behind pet wise everyone had an important role to play within the story and that's what I really enjoyed the most I think out of this film is how particular and how much screen time each of the pets got. Yes, Ace and Crypto definitely got a higher focus in the film, but every other pet was really close behind them and it was really, really well done. And all the chemistry between every single voice actor putting their heart and soul, it seemed anyways, into this film really showed and was a showcase and highlight of this film. So with all of that being said, I'm going to give DC's League of Super Pets an A. I think, like I said, it's very well done. And I think anyone of any age is going to enjoy this film a whole lot. Whether you think it's a silly movie or you're going in expecting like a lot, you will not be disappointed, I don't think, in this film. And I think you're going to come out really pleased with what you watch. There are two post credit scenes as well. Um, a mid and then a post. It's very interesting. And all I'm going to say all together, is uh, I was surprised with one of the voice actors having three roles. I'm not going to say who. You'll have to stay and figure it out for the whole film and really listen. But otherwise, hopefully you enjoyed my review. If you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I put out weekly videos and hit that notification bell so you know when I post a brand new video because if you don't, how else are you going to know when I post? You won't, so do it. I'm off to enjoy my weekend. I will see you on Monday. I didn't post last week because I felt I deserved a break. So I will see you on Monday with a brand new makeup video. My Michaela part two is finally on the way. So hopefully I get that soon. It probably won't be for this Monday, but the next Monday I'm hoping I will have it for. But I will see you on the next video. Until then, bye friendships.